On the border, a binational conference began today in San Antonio, hosted by the North American Development Bank. Leaders and industry experts from both the U.S. and Mexico are meeting to discuss future projects that will bring more jobs to the border. Yeah, Sandra Sanchez was there, and they're also trying to find ways and solutions to growing demands on border communities. Sandra Sanchez has more from San Antonio. Leaders from the United States and Mexico came to the NADBank Summit in San Antonio to plan projects on infrastructure, trade and commerce on the southwest border. Mexico's ambassador to the U.S., Esteban Moctezuma, said the United States and Mexico must collaborate as a region to spur economic growth and jobs, and they must work together to meet growing water needs as well as border security. Water management will become a central pillar for a bilateral collaboration to ensure that the border's potential may provide opportunities for all. The ambassador told the conference the U.S. built border wall on the Rio Grande divides, not unites, both countries. And he told Border Report that the string of buoys the state of Texas has put in the river in Eagle Pass are illegal in such a vital source of drinking water. He said that these uh, voyages are uh, against international law, against the bilateral relationship, against the treaty that we have with the U.S. Because you see, uh, the Rio Grande is not an American river, and it's not a Mexican river. It's a binational river. Panelists said that a boom in the border's maquiladora industry is from nearshoring. That's when goods and services are relocated to countries that are closer, like Mexico. The president of Mexico's maquiladora industry said there are now 58,000 maquiladoras employing 4.4 million people on the border. There's an organic growth happening. But manufacturing requires water, and Mexico owes the U.S. about 600,000 acre-feet of water, according to a 1944 treaty. U.S. International Boundary and Water Commissioner Maria Elena Giner said. Well, irrigators are starting to get very nervous again, not only because of, of the impact to the irrigation uh, uh, industry in South Texas, which is a $1.2 billion industry, but also because they won't have the push water necessary to get water to the community. Mexico's IBWC commissioner said drought has affected water payments for the past two years. She said the country is implementing conservation efforts and working to pay what they owe. In San Antonio, Sandra Sanchez for Border Report. And the chairwoman for the Texas Water Development Board said that she will visit Harlingen to see firsthand the water needs on the border. You can find more about the story right now on borderreport.com.